as Abbott lashed out against lynching, bitter sarcasm became a hallmark of the defender's style. Fifty-four lynchings occurred in the United States during the year 1914, six more than during the preceding year. Only 49 of the 54 being colored, showing conclusively that a grievous error was made somewhere. Think of it, five white men lynched. It seems that we can have nothing exclusive. Lynching was a form of punishment especially prepared for us. At least that is what we have been led to believe. Perhaps the fun wasn't coming fast and furious enough, so they threw in a few of their own number for good measure. Robert Abbott, January 9, 1915. The racism of the mainstream press was another favorite target of Abbott's ridicule. One of the things that white newspapers did in the early 20th century was whenever they would mention somebody who was African American, they would put in parentheses next to his or her name, Negro. So it would say, Jack Johnson Negro, won the World Heavyweight Championship yesterday. What Robert Abbott did in response to that was he simply decided that he should treat white people equally. So it would say, Woodrow Wilson White declared war on Germany yesterday.